Hey there, Melissa. I had a chance to look at your uh, measurements and um, had a couple good things and a couple things that we can look, like, look at to make even better. First of all, the fact that your arms and legs are identical on a tape measure means nothing. I mean, it, it's good. Here's why I say that. Um, you went from running before me to um, now you're doing strength training, so you might notice like in your arms and legs are a lot more tone, and all that means is your body composition changed a bit where you got less fat and more muscle in your arms and legs. So that happens often. For somebody who was not um, hardcore strength training and comes in a boot camp, I've seen it happen a bunch. So um, don't worry so much about that. What my thought is, is I probably failed to explain to you the, the science of, of fat burning as far as making fat your primary fuel source. So here's what that means. Kind of like we talked about a little bit yesterday, and I talked to a lot of the girls um, periodically. And we probably, probably talk a lot more in the fall because it's a lot slower. Um, but what you do, if I take my mug here, when you eat the meal plan, you're depleting, depleting, depleting your carb stores. Stand below 100 grams of protein, uh, I'm sorry, of, of carbs. And what's going to happen with constant activity is you're going to go from depleting your carb stores four days later to burning fat as a primary fuel source. Uh, that's what we all want to be ideal. We all want to be fat burning machines so we burn our own body fat, also the fat that we eat um, as a fuel source so that your metabolism is revving high and you just burn a whole lot. Um, what's probably happened is when you eat the meal plan, although it's relatively healthy, relatively fresh, filled with vegetables, um, when you do things like maybe have a glass of orange juice like you said, maybe a glass of wine at night, maybe, and it's not the same for everybody. I can tell you that guys can do it a lot quicker. But once you um, eat those high glycemic carbs, it's like, boom, you start back from the beginning. So if you're two, three days in, and you're putting in carb stores, and you eat those things, you go right back. So here's what um, has to happen in the first phase of eating these foods. You probably will have to go two full weeks, as long as two full weeks, where you're not eating, um, you're abstaining from bread, um, fruit juices, wine. I mean, this is a perfect world. I mean, everybody has their own time frame when to do this because uh, losing one inch is great but you'll easily lose three or four inches just based on science it's my theory it's just what happens is we all have readily available carbs um, particularly high glycemic carbs around us whether it's anything as tasty as donuts anything as you know bread uh, bagels anything. and anytime you eat those things you can reset that whole carb depleting process so sounds a little scientific but here's what I want to tell you encourage you Try to log the things you eat outside the meal plan for two full weeks, and I can tell you with a high degree of certainty what will happen. And I've, this happens not only with you being a new boot camper, Melissa, but when my girls get in new relationships, um, it's like they don't know or they forget you know, what we've talked about. It's, and it's all science. And basically, in general, once you get into fat-burning mode, you have a lot more of an allowance to eat and indulge in some things like fruit juices and stuff, but you have to get there first. So... For two weeks, let's um, have you um, log everything you eat outside of the meal plan so I can tell you exactly how to make sure that you get all the fat burning that this process does for you. So that's the um, only thing. So you'll probably lose, you know, two or three inches if we monitor. I mean, hell, you'll lose two inches in two weeks if um, everything's in line. So I'll talk to you more about that um, after we get that information. But so for two, four, two full weeks, your challenge is to just write everything that you eat outside of the meal plan because I know what's in the meal plan and stuff. So all right dear I will see you later and I'll just come fired up and I know you want a better measurement. I mean heck we all do. But it's all that's why I said it's all science and I try to go back and look at the numbers and see how we can change that. Alright, talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye bye.